Hello, I watched a video by Scott Gaines on making dovetails and it was really good. And there are a couple of easier things to do, perhaps, that I wanted my class to try. So I created a quiz for them and the challenge was to make uh, a box using uh, half-blind dovetails and through-blind dovetails. So this video tutorial will cover a uh, review for my class on how to do that. And what you're looking at at my screen right now is um, something I already started. So I'm going to just do the same thing over here and show you how I did what I have so far. Okay. Um, first thing we're going to do is draw a rectangle that's going to be um, 0.5 comma 4. Now I'm in the template uh, woodworking slash inches in Google SketchUp Pro, but you can also do this in the free version. Okay, the first thing we're going to do now is after we have this 0.5 comma 4 vertical rectangle going up on the blue axis <clears throat> is I would like to get my tape measure tool and come down from the top and we're going to come down 0.25 then we're going to come down whoop. if you get that black dot up there you have to come off center a little bit to get your 0.5 down and then come down again 0.25 and down again uh, 0.5. My allergies are kind of messing with me right now. I normally don't have allergies, but uh, the dust here in the state are, is terrible, so I apologize for that. Uh, 0.25. And then we're going to come down again, 0.5. And then 0.25. And then 0.5. And then 0.25. And then 0.5 again. There we go. Now grab your uh, protractor tool, just uh, like Scott did in his video. Vid uh, video, and we're going to click right here, <clears throat> and then right there, and come up 10 degrees. Click right here, right there, and then come down 10 degrees. Okay grab your line tool and either one just draw a line from there to there again from here to there okay alright let's see I think we can copy this now so we're going to select the first line hit your control key or option key in Mac and select the other line select your move tool before you left click, hit your control or option key again and move those up. Place it. Then your backsplice or whatever that symbol is called for. Look down here in my lower right box, you'll see it. Enter. That fills the rest of them in. Now we can go edit, delete guides. I'm going to draw my two inch guideline back though just because I like to use it. So two, there we go. You don't have to do that. Now we need to delete uh, some things. So I'm going to select this area right here and delete that area. This area. This area. You got to be careful not to delete the wrong area. And I'll delete some lines. Okay. We're not going to make this a component. We're not. We're just going to keep it like this and select all of it. Just like so. Oops, I got one extra line I need to delete. Okay. But before I select that, I'm going to draw my first side. So that's going to be up on the vertical axis blue. And it will be 8, 4. Okay. I want to push pull that back. May have to rotate around. So yeah, there. I'm going the right way. Okay. Just go back 0.5 or a half an inch. 
Okay. Now we can, uh, I'm going to camera standard views front just so everything's looking good here. Pull it over so I can see it better. Now you can select this. Actually, we need to draw one tape measure guide first, right here. Go 0.5 over this way. And that will help us place these pins here. Okay. Um, let's see. Move tool. Select right there, but hit your control or option key to make a copy of it. And move it right there. Okay. And I'm going to go hit escape. And I'm going to select that again and control or option key while in the move tool left click again move that whoops I want to grab it from the bottom so I stay in the right spot there we go now right click and flip along red direction and that's so when we do the uh, other side okay just shut my phone off here a second Okay, now we want to push pull some things. So deselect that and we're going to come back to the side we made. And we're going to hit push pull. Pull that all the way back. Double click on the rest of them. Okay. So we're going to pull this one over and do a half inch guideline from the other side. And we'll move that one over. Okay, let's see. And let's go to the move tool. I was starting to think about something I wanted to do the rest of this, but we'll move this right to there okay hit escape and push pull and you may have to pan to where you can see what you're push pulling back Whoop. just push pull that back till it's there we go and double click on the rest of them all right Make sure you're deleting and push pulling back the correct shape. Otherwise, you won't have dovetails. You'll have something else. Okay. Now, what I can do is actually delete this guideline and delete this guideline and make this a component. So we'll call this um, side one and hit create okay and just I'm gonna move these other ones that I drew out of the way real quick select them both and